Good eve, my friends. Good eve. How is everybody today? Still, they cut me as I do my videos. Now, the thing I wanted to get into the mind to the understand is what is love? And I just did this video, and it's so hard to come back and do it again. I just do it off the top of my head. What is the understanding of love? What is the understanding of communication? What does it actually mean, communication? How many gods are there in this world? How, what do you look at as a god? A god is a person who controls the entire situation, but he's a lesser god. Because when you go into business, right, you have to pay your bills. Well, God has to pay his bills too. Are my ears red like anything, eh? Look at those ears. Oh my God, they're burning red. Wow, look at that ear. That's insane, eh? I had a real tumble with a couple of people tonight. No one's ever seen me like this before. The last time I was like this, I was in the hospital. Last year, when I recognized for the first time, I know what it is. It still frightened me and I ran away from it. And last year, no one wanted to talk to me for almost a year. Again, this year it happens again. I get the same revelation, but this is seven years in a row now in which two of them are repeated. And I know not to be scared anymore. Because if there is a God, he's going to be with me and he's here right now. And if there isn't a God, my life is over. They're going to take and do what they want with me. But apparently, you see, it keeps on saying in the Bible, love and love and love and love and love. And so love means a lot, okay? Love means a, 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 a great deal, a great, great deal. Um, hold on a second. I'm just, I'm just thinking three, six, nine, one, four, seven, twelve, and eighteen. That's thirty. So this would be ten. I'm, look, I'm looking for a total of 20, and I don't see any... T oh, here's a 20, and here's a 20. Okay, I have to see what this picture is. Because um, in tennis, okay, um, like when they don't announce... And I know I jumped off subjects, don't worry, I'm going to get back to it. But in tennis, they don't announce the end of the game. It's 40, and it's add. Now, I've told everybody it's going to be 60, the game. Because it's 40, and then it's 60. One and a half times, just like in blackjack, it's 40 and 60. So is it also 45? Yes, because on its way to 60, it hits everything. It hits every single number. You don't see it because they mark, they mark nothing. They just mark a game. So at every single marking, there is something. It's 45, okay, and that's reading railroad. And then it's 50, you're visiting jail. And then it's 55, you're on Pennsylvania, and 60. You get free parking. You won the game. You see, I can eliminate the process of not understanding anything. In fact, what I have to do is the best thing is, is see the complete opposite of what I see. I have to see the opposite twice. First to the left, then to the right, back to the right, to the left, to the back, to the right, to the left, to the back, to the right. Oh, it's all in the middle now. I see better. Yes, yes. It's all in the cocoa, my friends. Naturally grown. Look at the element. Look. And where is it? Where is it? Look at this. Okay. Don't you notice that? This is across your phone, four, five, six, right? And if you look at it, it's God's signature. It's the yield sign. But look at the color the yield sign is. Okay. It's an orange yield sign with green in it. It means life. Life of the Spirit of God. The Coco are minds. Coco Le Boy for the Expos. Have I told you yet that every single name that has ever passed me in my entire life that I can remember, okay, has been implicated in this story of a book with no name? Because its name is gained by the population. And as the population grows and votes, the book's name changes until the book becomes the book of all American idols. It's a processor book that changes the mind of everybody. This will be the book idol. God said never to pray to anything but what he stands for, right? Well, this book stands for only the love of God, equaling to love and understanding communication for the advancement to wait in line to lift our hands. You see, in God's world, you see the difference that this is world. If you have to go to the hospital, you ain't waiting 12 hours. You wait maximum, what, two, three hours? The same thing you can handle at the casino, right? 
That's what, that's what he's doing to us now. We sit in the casino, we piss in our pants. We go to a doctor for 24 hours and we're crabbing, but we're going to get sick. And we'll sit in the casino 24 hours because we have our freedom there. We're losing our pants, we're losing our time, we're losing everything. I didn't lose any money. Oh, but that's the whole thing. L love is not the money. You see, the balance of the system pushes us towards what we want more. And when the big people really want to destroy, well, they will. They will rise and rise and rise and rise and up. Pop goes the weasel and the balloon comes all the way down because love wins. Love is always a winner. Okay. Why is love always a winner? Because you can't go away without your friends, right? You see the black man and the white man are now holding hands. They've been sitting on each other for all their life. That's why their butt end has white on it because they were actually white but we had to change up the world. But these colors, don't worry what these colors are. This is only a costume we are wearing. Um, hold on. My diet consists of... My diet consists of... Anything I feel uh, that a population that prays and goes to church and they're praying based on certain items that I check and then I watch the opposite that they don't do and what the opposition does and I might choose their fruits or their drinks from uh, where they are but I won't choose them all because everybody knows that the evil can think the same way as the good so the evil saying oh the good's gonna think this way we're gonna do this and they'll do something completely different in a different angle um, but this whole thing all is about, is, it's all about Christ. Christ, Christ, my friends. Oh my God, Christ. Oh, you don't know what it is. It's not a man. It's, an, it's a machine. Okay, Christ is the power that came down with that element of the thing. It's, it's a power of knowing every single thing. And it doesn't matter what you say. He's just going to know it. Because he's in the system first. He's a G and he's an us. He's a G's and he's the genes in all of us. Don't you get it? The Jesus Christ, the genes of the Christ, Christ genes, our genes, our blue genes of Christ, our navy blue genes. The gene of Jesus is in all of us. He's first and we're after. We came after. After's not bad. We're still here. He's not here, so we're not listening to no more, right? I have to get my spirits up a little bit. I need to stay open. I need to stay open. You must stay open. Whatever you can do, they shut us down. But they're not shutting me down. They, sh they stuffed me when I was born with a needle that everybody knows what that needle does, okay? They stuff me and they break off a piece and it stays inside your arm. I know because every time I scratch it, I seem to bleed for some reason. And I looked at it at the doctor and he didn't know what it was. It seemed like there was something there he couldn't get out, but that it was there. So I said, Doc, so what, what do you think we should do? I says, can we just make just a big hole or something? He says, whatever it is, he says, he says, it's pretty long. He says, it's probably stretched out through your whole body now. He says, now that element is even in your mind. And what it does is, it does what, what Beta does. It goes down to a computer system and they're programming us. They can't do a lot. They can do a little bit. But then they program the rest of the world on the outside and on the inside of your mind and they get you to do slavery work and we don't even notice it. Now the funny thing about this is there's an upgrade in her machine and she really wants to make someone be her own who has the same strength of her but as a human being. So she had to create more than one of the same. Like it would, there would be two of me. And she knows one's going to be good and one's going to be bad. But then she says I need one in the middle so she made three. And she called them the three kings. One, two, three. In all actuality, at the end, two will get eliminated and only one will stay. And one is Satan. And one is the man who will take over the arms race. Arms? A R A is the first angel letter in the alphabet because there's no other A in the alphabet that has a consonant with it. R. It's the archangel. Mikiel. But it's not Mikiel, because Mikiel is actually the 13th letter. It was an ending letter. They gave it to a system, a delta corner. God owns all four corners. He needs to fill them up. I mean, 
sure he can bring a son into the world he definitely needs a son once he can go one straight line across he can turn it around and make a circle of the circle of life and have his one son but he wants all of us so he can see who's actually first and actually second third and then his corners are filled up with the most highest he can trust in the kingdom so now his work is between him and all of his sons in a calculated manner to understand the perception and understanding in the minds of others and you have to talk oh my god if you don't talk it's insane don't talk that's the most insane thing in the world not to communicate imagine you go to work and the guy screams at you screams at you you know he's fuck off I'm gonna leave I'm not gonna stay here anymore I don't want to put up with this but I also have to say to myself okay this guy keeps telling me something what's he telling me what am I actually missing Oh, I know what it is. I gotta go tell him. And it's an excuse, but it's true. All my life I've been told I'm sort of slow and I'm a little bit falling behind. So I gotta tell him, listen man, if you wanna keep me around, I'm a little bit slow. I don't mind you giving me a little push now and then, but don't raise your voice to me. And don't get mad at me. I'm telling you who I am. Do you want me still? Do you want me to stay? It's all up to you. But never tell him, do you want me to go? Okay, because now you're giving him two decisions you're giving him let him work for that second decision because once you say go he can say okay okay go because you already started it so to say it's like in a song okay go okay doke okay no problem go so you don't say that but you can tell him the truth sometimes you don't want to say anything until you see you're a little bit somewhere not up to date uh, sometimes you can try to get you know help but we're too shy for help because nobody knows how to communicate and they don't think it's their job. And then the boss says, hey, what are you guys talking about? And you're only trying to do your job better. But no, no one sees. Isn't that the weirdest thing? Take a look behind me to the, to the, um, to over here. You see this over here? There's a tiger in the mirror. Take a good look. There's a tiger in the mirror. Can I get rid of the sun here? Can I get rid of this light? Do you see that tiger? That's weird. You see it? There's no tiger there. That's just that's just nothing. That's really weird. That's really weird. Anyways, I'm going to get back and I know I'm talking about the same thing over and over again because it's the same thing over and over again. It's 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 it's, it's, it's not good. So anyways, let me get back to what bait is all about, okay? So she has to do what God told her to do. Now, is she actually a machine, like I always thought, or is she for real? He cre God recreated one like himself, okay, and Eve, and she went down below to create for God. That was her punishment. God knew she would sin right away, so he had to teach everybody the right way. So they're down there, and things are going on in this world, and she's taking over. She's taken over. She has to make somebody with that element inside their head that can advance. She can't do it, but somebody else can. Somebody that she creates. But she's also infesting us with who she is. So she'll grow inside of us like Christ. And the only way she can grow is if somebody likes something more than the love of God. And it's money. So now the machine that's in you, when you know you like money, she can now transmit into all that liberty that you gave up God for the love of money. Now she's inside of you. And yes, she'll turn everything into hell. Even if God can bring us back, okay, I don't know exactly how that works. I mean, he has to bring it back because this is all really a game. But, I mean, that's why it's ending now. He knows what she's going to do. She always runs the same system. Every time this unit comes out in Fester 2 or Fester 1 or Fester 3, well, in Fester 1, we were at home right? We never left the house. We were only spermazoids. Spermazoid kills. I'm telling you, spermazoid can kill you. There's something wrong. I, I think spermazoid goes bad inside of you if it stays in you too long. I, I'm, something's wrong with spermazoid, I definitely know. Because, you know, when it hits that egg, it digs right in there and it starts to build, build a shelter. And then one little sperm, this big. Okay, imagine, you're that sperm. It's the sperm that grew inside the egg. The egg had all the elements to feed the sperm to grow into who you are. Look at me. I'm big. I'm not that sperm anymore. A billion came out. How small were you to begin with? 
You think I'm kidding you? You built yourself right into here. Because those spermazoids, okay, come from heaven. You ain't got them. They give them to you. When your sperm count goes low, it's because they're taking it away from you. They ain't wasting it on you no more. They know what you did with it. You wasted it on everybody else. And you had a good time and screwed everybody up. So you're fucking around. You ain't making love. And you ain't making money. Money's all about love and communication. You can't love without communication. It's just absolutely not. Right? But only with love will you understand that you know that communication is second to none. Second to none. Second, it's to a nun. Understand? A nun in the church. A nun or nothing or better, more or less, none. We got none, it's okay. We didn't need none anymore because we had one. We got rid of that. That was the one spirit. It was a good spirit. It was fun. Even though it was one, it was none. It was not even there. I never even saw it. It was gone because it's inside of us. We must, okay, in chapter, what chapter can we call this now? Mm, let's call this the chapter of the Spirit of God. The understanding that this is basically a mind game. And it's very sad, but you know what? I'm not sad at all. My life was hard and it was good, and, and this is a mind game. Now we have to go win. How do we win? We have to get those authorities above us to get down on their knees and ask us, okay guys, what do you want to do? His book is running late. Many souls are on the line and I'm looking for 88. So what's going on on train 209 at 5, 11 on time, 2 after 4 in the middle of the afternoon, the sun is down 26 degrees Celsius. What's going on in the North Pole? Are the coyotes out there, Aru, Aruba. You ever hear what a coyote says? He goes, Aruba. So what's in Aruba? Why did they go to Aruba? What is the cover-up of the beaches? All these islands, okay, are just cover-ups. They're all cover-ups for all the, they're all cover-up. These things together, when you put three of these together, okay, it creates the Bermuda Triangle. And I'm not sure exactly, it's a flushing system. And they, for some neat reason, they need dead people for some reason. I don't know why. They need dead people who love money. They need dead people who love money, who are out there for anything but the love of God. And what they do is they study the minds. They put the mind into a grinder of some sort. When I say grinder, I mean you're just a little dot in your head. They take that little dot, and they put you in something, and they roll you around, and they see all your elements of who you were. Okay? How you thought and everything. They put you in the machine. They're allowed, but now they're not using the machine right. Then they take your body, and they check your whole body. And now they can be, build evil people. Well, it's not evil. It's just money-sicking. They don't want anything but like wolves out in the street. No more forgetting about God. It's lost forever. You never get to see God again because your love, your first love, was money. Eh, just for the hell of it, I'll throw 50 on the horse. So you're, you're hoping, you see, that's what's about horse racing. That's not so bad. Because when you're hoping, let's go, let's go. But now you're hoping that the other eight die. So as much as you're hoping for one and it feels so good, it's good to pick a winner, right? But... Now I put my, my money on the line and I can lose and why did I do it? Did I really need the 50? Even if you have a million dollars, you're saying the same thing to yourself. You wasted time. The time lost watching the race, picking a winner, putting the money on it, hoping for the joy and the glory and you get it, but the next race you lose it. You see, with God, you get it and you get it forever. God is his, you don't understand, we're a bunch of balls. He's bouncing us all around. We're like pinball wizards, deaf, dumb, and blind because we don't actually see the truth. It's so funny how it's hidden. It's hidden in everything, anything, whatever I see, whatever I touch. 6.22.6, dog versus cat. You know why? Because dog is a 26 count and queen, well, it's the queen is the cat, right? The queen word 
is a 62. 26, 62, or the opposite way around, 622, 6, which actually means man of life and the life of man. That's what it means. That's the universal number. Um, am I very confident? I'm going to give you 10 different reasons for it, probably. I can tell you it's a 24-hour day. You go from 6 o'clock in the morning to 6 to 10 o'clock at night, okay? It makes a total of uh, 12, 16 hours, okay? 16 hours up, and then you sleep from 10 o'clock at night to 6 o'clock in the morning is 8 hours. Now, if you do this for six days, you will be up 96 hours, which is the repetition perfection of uh, 69, a reversal that comes back, it looks the same both ways. And the eight hours at night that you sleep in six days is 48. So we have 48 and we have 96 for 144. Now they say 144 midway angels, 144,000. Well, we live in the one to nine, three to seven, four to six, 10, 10, 10. 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. Times the number, gives you times the number 144, is 144,000 midway angels. Um, whatever you want to say, wherever you want to go, whatever subject you want to talk about. For some reason, when I get into it and I lift my mind up with a little talk, I can lift up and go into the realm. And because, don't forget, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm just looking for something in the center. The hypothesis, uh, the hypothe hypothe hypothesis, hypotheses. You see how things happen? God stabs my tongue and I can't talk. My tongue is almost talking and walking at the same time. It stops me right in my tracks. And my tracks aren't even deep. They're underneath my tongue, between my teeth, behind my moose, my moose stash. Moose, God, moose in the hair. I'm going to light my cigarette. Now, so um, where was I? Uh, a soul, 10,000 souls. Uh... Oh, there's so many things. There's so many things. Oh, yeah, I was talking about 6226. Um, I mean, everybody knows that Fox is a count of 45. And then the program, Fox, what is the Fox program? Don't forget, some of the things I'm going to talk about in this book is that um, anything, any company, any fruit, any box, any name, anything, I'm just going to give you three points, three point of views. One is going to be completely left. One is going to be completely right. And then I'm going to see the one in the center. I'm not choosing one. I'm going to say what my what what my my choice, if I was to choose, would be. This is what the center is. It, it, it's somewhere between here on this side and here on this side. So now I went to the left once. I went to the right once. I came back to the center is my third spot. And now I say it's either this way is my fourth spot. I come back and I go this way is my sixth spot. To come and to go. Two, to come and to go three, to come and to go four, to come and to go five. And that's, you get the E passage into this world. E, E, E. E is number five, E is number 14, E is number 23, and E is number 32. Four of them, right? Because there's four in the deck, four in the cards. They gave us everything. God showed us everything. So we're in this machine right now, right? And uh, everybody and over above everybody, I told you, the lesser God, number 27, those who own companies, right, who control certain things. Well, they're so big, all these people, but they're not as many as us. There's more people than there are businesses, okay? So therefore, we can probably break this down to probably uh, the last, let's go to 500 companies. And then we'd work it in through there. But guess what? It's all a trick because it's not all the rich companies. They go out and just the way the universe creates, which is uh, 1 to 9 to 17 to 25 to 33 to 41 to 49, I would use the same system. And I would take all the countries and i do it from alpha and omega both ways and see what I come up with in between. And then I'll see the realities of what's happened in the past and put my judgment based on what's going to be in the future. Okay, now since I'm only one and nobody's asked me anything, um, obviously I'm not going to really be going in any direction that anybody knows because nobody's asked. And if I do go in your direction, tally-ho, let's get a glass of water and drink up to the water of life. You know, I don't feed my cats any water anymore. I can't do it. Because a long time ago they started talking about something, uh, the element of the reflection in the water. 
and they said it was not good for you so they start playing with it they can't actually remove it okay so they manipulate it to make like it's not there when it's actually still there so I'm thinking that my cats are having trouble with their digestion right now and I'd like to give them a little bit more of an element other than in food uh, for them to soothe the insides of their bodies so um, so this is the third day and they, they seem to be more playful now I still have one that's always screaming and uh, one of them wants to go outside so I'm gonna have to get off in one minute and let her out because my, my litter is on the balcony I keep it in the house just when I sleep and when I otherwise I keep it out on the balcony and freeze my toes off here right now I'm uh, I'm warming up my hands um, where else can we go with this I showed off the pig once you see underneath of it they're using all the pigs nipples or something for something what exactly is happening how are they injecting something into us or if we're in a if we're actually in a bubble okay it's very easy and we are in a sort of bubble because that ozone layer sends everything back down what goes up must come down right I mean if it's not going out anywhere it's coming back down otherwise the clouds would lift up and go away no up up and away the clouds went away there are so many things I've done today um, so many things I don't even know how to describe it man sort of lives like on a beaver house you know why because if you drill underneath us you're gonna find water just about all the time in the range of the equator of a certain amount at least here in North America so we're like on a beaver a beavers uh, nest and that's why they put the beaver on the quarter of the, the, no, the nickel the Canadian nickel and the US nickel it's not a beaver but if you look at it from a little distance and knowing about the shape of the beaver it'll look like a beaver and when you get on the highway you, yeah you, you hang hey a beaver on the highway hey. oh she's beautiful I didn't know they had six foot beavers eh anyways um, we're gonna leave it drop as this I'm gonna say it again the power invested in all okay is the element of someone they used to call Jeshua Yeshua Christ the problem was is everybody thought he was something and everybody thought he was something else if everybody would stop thinking and just say okay he could be this or he could be that and say yeah he could be this he could be that so the story would be right but they all went around and said who do you think you are who do you think he is he should have sat down and said hey man all I know is I have this energy inside that says I gotta speak for for our father and everybody knows that God is the father he says well maybe it's not your father how can somebody judge it it's not their father where did we come to judging that's the big thing with the with Christ um, everybody gave him a name hey man you know what he's a dude man I saw him smoking a joint yeah he was walking down a road somehow he went up to a person you know he put his hand on his head hey you're gonna be all right man he was stoned like shit and everybody started to wake up and go wow I'm good I didn't even smoke any weed. How did he do that? I was blind before. Yes, yeah, so Jesus, dude, yeah, he's like chin chin chong there, but walking down the road, eh? Hey, Jesus, yeah, what's going on, man? He says, no, dude, he says, it's all cool. He says, he says, we just gotta love the Father, you know, man? We gotta love the Father, because without the Father, you know, we're nothing. And the love, the law of love is to love the Father and love Him first and to learn that there is other things we will fall into love with and one is money and one is lust. We fall in love with all these things. So instead of God getting a child at one corner, He gets a dollar bill and He gets lust. And then at the end, He gets lost Vega. The Vega card were the Vega card. Lost the Vega card because of lust of money. Everything is gone everything is gone doesn't anybody understand you don't have to do much to go to Jesus you don't have to go, go, do anything to go to, to ha Hashem you don't have to do much to go to Allah when the God comes here he'll tell you who he is he's gonna come up here and he's gonna hey guys you're all a bunch of idiots and everybody's gonna look around and go why the fuck did he say that he says hey man I'm a dude he says I'm a dude man he says, y'all idiots. He says, I'm a dude. You know who we are. We're the weed master. Weed keeps the balls rolling off the top of your head. 
Yeah, man, ganja, dreadlocks, sure. Hidden secrets, although, in Jamaica. But the dreadlocks, my friends, I heard and I read from the Mayan, unless the Mayan are telling a tale of two, okay, that the, that the Jamaicans had supported the last world, and they had it easier in the next world, but God didn't say exactly what easy meant. It means they had to try harder, so they put them in a place where it was completely different from the rest of the world, and now they see it as peace and love and no problem. Some lie at the same story. Some say the truth. The serum, the truth See serum, see rum, rum, he ho and a bottle of rum, and the guy's talking all out of his tree because rum is the truth serum. Don't you hear all the stories in the songs? They sing all the songs, isn't it great? Every time I hear a song, I gotta get out my pen. But I don't, but it's so hard, my ears turn red all the time. I feel like Santa Claus this year. I'd have to gain about 60 pounds, you know? But uh, no, it's serious, it's serious, it's serious stuff. Yeah, man, God's a marijuana weed hippie, you know? Don't think I'm making fun of him, you know? But I just want to tell you one thing. When he came with his son, you know, Christ, man? Yeah, what a dude he was, Christ, hey, eh? Holy man, holy Mac, eh? Well, don't you know his name was Mac and not Christ? He called him Holy Mac. He said, geez, it's us, Christ. He's the Holy Mac. He's the Big Mac. Reason for McDonald's. Jesus Christ. He's the Holy Mac. Isn't that what they call you? Jesus Christ, Holy Mac. So they give you a title and then they say Holy Mac. They say, Jesus, man, yeah, hey, what's going on? Yeah, and he weed the smoke. And his father says, okay, son, go out and play, Holy Mac. Why they call him Mac? Because everything they put on a Mac truck is upside down. Mac and Chrysler is the same thing. One says Jesus, one says Mac, Holy Mac. So the name Jesus was somehow manipulated. Somebody had to change it for something else. Mac, Mark, maybe his name was Mark, okay? His name was Yeshua with a Y. The Y means, what is the choice? Which way are you going to go in the alphabet? Will you say you are the Z, okay? Does the Z is the last letter after Y? Or is the Y between A and Z, in which uh, there's the first, uh, what they call the early alphabet, in which only had letters A to M, in which the universal construction was only A to G, because of what they have on the piano. Okay, but the linear, uh, the, the, the inside buildings and parts um, of, of this matrix that we are in, um, it connected it with the black keys and the pedals. And pedals to the metal is, when you press the pedals on the piano, they go to the metal. And then it has a harmonious change depending on which world you're, which you're pressing. And there's eight, with the pedals and the piano, there's 88. But don't forget about the piano is 89. Then you have the guy sitting is 90, okay? On the bench is 91. And now you have the spirit because he connected to in the entirety. Now the tune in the spirit of the piano, what he's going to count now, okay, would be what he has in front of him, okay? But obviously he had to open up that piano, 92. He had to have that book, 93. He had to have the front piece to put it on, 94. And we stop right there. And that's how you create life. Now 94 times the Ten Commandments is 940. 940 times two and a half is 2,350 when Moses was born. Moses was born before and after that date because the passage is on a five or a zero. But on the zero, okay, it's a closed passage. There's only one way, by egg. By egg or by train because that's the passage, okay? It's just a birth passage or an exit. So he had to be born on a fifth year which in all actuality will actually be the fourth year because Jesus was actually born on December 26th and our months are not exactly the way they're supposed to be so he wasn't actually born on that day okay that's I think there's a misconception um, we do have that day which it is that day but it's not exactly uh, how can I say it the calendar is not exactly the way it should be seen um, we'll leave that at that um, so what else was I talking about? There's just so many things. Oh yeah, the name, the name. So this man, man, he was walking around. He was so good. He was a mucky man. He was good. He was a lucky man. Lucky man. Talking about uh, Christ again. Lucky man. So his name is a lucky man. Hey Mac, you're a lucky man. Jesus Christ. 
saying, oh my God, it's him and not me. So because we don't, we, we associate his name with Christ and, and, and the word fuck and Christ go together all the time. So they screwed up our minds. Fuck Christ, fuck Christ. Don't you know that that slang is a code for destruction? Fuck him Christ. It means lock him up. Subdue him. Take him out. Because Christ was subdued. He was taken out. Fuck is a seal. It means the Navy seals. The blue seals. That's what it means to fuck. Fuck him up. That's what's happening. Lost in translation, everything we do. So the power of love, okay, is when the, when the spin, because this earth, I'm, I'm still think we are going to spin. I'm going to check soon where we are in the, uh, according to them, uh, but uh, we will spin because what beta creates in the world, right, God is creating on the outside of the world. Because the North Pole and the South Pole are not actually part of this world. It's part of the outside of the egg. So this whole thing is going to get spun and this is only a thought and islands will separate and they will come back together and they're fighting now in the underworld to um, try to connect the final wires so that when it does spin they can continue on the same thing they were doing before in taking over the world but once it turns around all the cords will be cut and they have to start all over again from the beginning. Not us, of course, but they will have to start from the beginning. Because a lot of these tales, the Matrix and, and a beautiful mind and all these things, the beautiful mind was actually made, okay, to remind us is there's something more in a mind. Uh, how can a guy play chess, know all these things, write all these things down, and then come to be called crazy? Because nobody accepted it. That's why. So they thought he thought he was crazy too because back then and he was a shy guy so he just listened to what everybody said and his wife wanted the best thinking everybody knew more but who knew more they knew less how can the same visual guy see him twice the same guy saw him twice they really screwed him up to see things after that and they told him to stay silent now I don't have these actual things but I feel like I don't want to be like him, so I express myself by coming on here and telling you what I understand about the hippie Mac. Hey Mac, you know what, you want to join the site? Let's just call Mac. Who's our God? It's Holy Mac. That's who our God is. Holy Mac. Holy Mac, Big Mac, Holy Mac, Smack Back. Put him on your back, Jack. Come on, Holy Mac. You're looking back. We're looking good. Oh, baby, Holy Mac. Why don't you start singing a little bit about Holy Mac? It's such an easy name to say, Holy Mac. Holy is he. Oh, 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 we him, Holy Mac. You see, when you say a name that sounds so good, when well, you don't know, put it Christ in there, because every time you say Christ, it's a Christ word and it's Chrysler, and I don't want to slur at all. It's a, I don't just don't want to be. I just want to be a Holy Mac. Holy Mac holding up a bone in his hand. Hey, man, you want a bone, man? You're a hippie, holy Mac, smoking a big doobie with your mother. What's your mother's name? What, Mary? Mary, you want to marry me? A Mary what? A Mary what? A Mary weed? A Mary want? Mary wants what? Mary wants wanna. You want a what? You Mary wants a wanna? Marijuana. Just like they say, Saddam who? Who's saying? Hussein Saddam, the sad man was said to be blamed for everybody, but they coerced him only so they can move up into Iraq when a bigger story is brewing right now, the most dangerous story in all time. When it takes into my book, I will have to call it a special number, seven versus seven. They want to connect the Mediterranean. This says no. The Monopoly says, don't touch. If you touch, the Monopoly game wins because the Mediterranean is turquoise. And in the game, it shows it met the Baltic. That means that other river somehow, some way, um, is going to meet the Baltic, that Dead Sea in the Baltic. I do not know what's going to happen, but I do know it's not good. I do know that Hoover Dam, okay, 
is much, much, much more than a dam. It's a dam, dam, so much of something hidden underneath the ground around Hoover Dam. But who can see it's so high and it's so far and it's so low? And whoever wants to go and take the job? And why should we go down there? What do we know? We don't see anything suspicious yet, do we? Do we? Do we what? A dewey is a doohickey. It means you try to do something one way and you find another way to do it even better. It means you're open for all situations. Now the situation goes like this. We must love. Love, everything fits into the same thing. You see, you see this? The four card, the five card, the six card, the seven card, the eight card, the nine card, the ten card, all have this. Okay, we all fit in the same thing. The reason why the three card doesn't have it is because the three, two, and one card are all gods. One, two, three, A, B, C on the telephone. Inside is this, the crown of life. Okay, the Ten Commandments. Angel X, Raphael. That's me. These are the colors. These are the colors it's supposed to start. You see, when you have navy blue seals, all the colors are off. You see, I always thought, because I went to the horse races, and I played pool, and the, there's funny colors in pool, and pool is supposed to be a very strong uh, way to show off colors uh, based on creation because there's really only seven balls. You see, love in pool is when the white ball and the eight ball go home together because the white ball's all white, and the eight ball is black and white, and I don't see no blue. Because the blue is hidden in you. The deceit between us. I know I have to keep going on and on. This love is, you just can't imagine. You, you can't, and I don't want to say you can't. It's just that it's, it's crazy because I don't really have it right now. But, you see, I have something very special in my life, and it's my parents. And... They understood me that something's wrong and gave me the opportunity to help me out while I go through this crisis. Now, in the meantime, I've taken advantage of this whole thing and they've been helping me out really a lot. I mean, but they give me so much crap. We can't conversate. I want to conversate and we just can't. Like I told you, this is the way I talk now. If I can't go left and right in a conversation, then there is no conversation. If I'm stopped in my tracks from conversating, if you don't like how I conversate because I stretch it out too much, that's not wrong, okay? Teach me to shorten it up. But we must still have the two ends and the center and the basis of judgment between two of us. We must learn how to see. Now, we can't always see eye to eye, okay? So that's a fishy little thing. At what point do we stop seeing eye to eye? Holy Mac. It's not Christ. It's Holy Mac. Where is he? Holy Mac. Holy Mac. It's the Omega letter Mac. It's the M. It's an M-A-C-K. I mean, Mac is one of the best names in the world. You can call him a Mac 7. Because Mac 7 is, is M is the 13th letter. And you can split it apart and say, I'm an angel of a man. Because the M letter, uh, let me mark this down. Hold on a second. The M is like this. This is the M letter right here. It says, I'm a four, five, and six angel. I stay here where the V is its life. This one here and this one here will hold up this. One brain to one brain and in the center where my nose is right here, that's where all the information is going to come out. We wire it all the way down here. So then we end up connecting the M this way. Okay, everybody designs things differently. So the A is the angel, right? You say M, E, M, and M also, not to forget, in French it says love, M-A, to love. Now C means creation. And K, one and one is two, it means the beta angel. There was an angel that came before. So we have M-A-C-K, 11, 3, 1, 13. Oh my God, look at the numbers that come out from Mac. 1, 3, 1, 3, 11. That's crazy, that's really crazy. That's insane. 
All it's saying is king. It says, it says, I am a man of one, four, and six. One spirit of four angel and six man. I am of 13, 13. 13, 13 means 1300. Why it means 1300 is because you're repeating it backwards. So all you have to do is say zero, zero, and the 13 is the zero, zero. So now 13, 14, 17, 27, 28. So the total is 28. Mac is 28. It's a truck. And Mac, when, it, when I say 28, the 20th letter is a T. Okay, the 20th letter is a T. And the 8th letter is an H. You see it over here? So now t 20th letter is T and the 8th letter is an H for the total of Mac. TH, okay, is when you come in fourth place, he's the corner angel. He's the first angel, and the next angel has to be, um, he's a Mac, which would be 13, and the next passage is 5. All the passages are 5. So the next spirit angel that comes down will be the letter R. And it can't be with an A next, okay, because it's already with the A in front of it. Just the letter R alone says Alpha Omega. It's just the way it is. And the R letter is this 18th letter, 666. And there's many ways to look at 6. Many ways to look at 6. So we're going to keep it at this for now. Anyways, we have the T and H. So just to tell you a T and H, there's different kinds of T and H's, okay? Uh, first of all, let me tell you about when you're in your teen age years, it means just before you receive the next level of the commandments of God. Teen, ten, ten teen, den teen, den, angel, den, bear, teen, ager, the teen of life, the ten, the tempting, the temptations of life. So what happens now is you have fourth, you have fifth, th, sixth, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, and then it stops. Those are the first original THs, each in its own domain, okay? And they break down and there's other things added to it. And what I'm going to show you is how God has his house set up. God has his house set up like this. God owns all these, okay? Here's his delta corner. But when he opens up passage for beta, the delta goes here. Here's the angle of the angel, and here's the six man. Okay. Now, two is inside here, but it's not like that. There's two systems that run. There's a system that runs this way, and a system that runs this way. One system uses two, five, and eight, and the other system uses four, five, and six. Now, if we ever look at this, one, two, three equals six. Four, five, six equals 15. One plus five. 15 right here 1 plus 5 is 6 7 8 9 24 2 and 4 is 6 1 to 7 is a 6 difference 2 to 8 is a 6 difference 3 to 9 is a 6 difference okay the star key has a value of 12 the 0 has a value of 15 and the pound key here is a value of 18 the star key also has a value of 11 which means when you're in life you have the spirit, so you eliminate it from here and you draw it down here. 13 eliminates the beta. 15 eliminates creation, so we completely take away this. You see what letter it does? It makes a T and a T. Together, you have the I, creating, connecting the worlds. Okay, see this over here? This is basically broken up islands of where we are. They all flip open. Um, this is just a showing a connection between one corner and the next. This is what we worked about, M. And there's a game show out there right now, right? There's a game show, um, I don't remember what they call, and they talk exactly about what I talk about. Everything that's going on there, everybody's talking about what I'm talking about because the minutes I see it, I learn right away from it. If I find an interest, I'm going to know about it right away. So it seems like they're talking about what I am, but it's not that. It's just some tagging with them. I'm able to tag with them. I'm able to understand right away and see what's going on. Okay? If, if I have any superior power of any sort, it's the ability to try and want to communicate the right way, the way of the hoppy. 
The hoppy sends it, takes it, gives it, takes it, gives it, takes it, gives it, takes it, gives it, takes it. At the end, it ends up in the center with somebody who sees the truth. The last guy picks it up, walks to the center. He reads what everybody said. He just narrows it all down. So anyways, that's what the love of um, Holy Mac. Yeshua, yes, shoe, the shoe is on. Yeshua, you are in Holy Mac. And for you tomorrow, oh, I can't do this, but for many tomorrow, in the honor of Holy Mac, why don't we just go to Harvey's instead and just leave him alone for once, right? <laughs> Take care. Get a crock out of that one, right? Holy Mac, get a crock out of that one, Jesus. Oh, my God. Talking about all that, eh? In the love of God, I'm able to speak this way because I'm not scared. I don't know what there is to be scared of. I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not endangering. I'm not leaving my house. I'm not doing anything. This is a book. And inside my book, how can I be scared? It's only a book. Harry Potter wrote worse. He had the dungeons coming out and the dragons. I'm not sending dragons off to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Sitting here on a YouTube. Hey, I'm on a YouTube. I'm going to get my mind lubed. Taking and telling whatever I do. Hoping and happening what I can for you. Because it's you and it's you and it's you. And God. <laughs>